The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starborn, came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left, said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Sam, uh, he's, he's still breathing, but oh god, all that blood! Hello, Constellation. Are you there? Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! Damn it, Vladimir's right. We need to get the artifacts packed up, and that means holding off the starborn. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Look, I get it. But our best chance is staying here. I don't know how long it's gonna take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, if my hands can stop shaking. Take cover, everyone. Where? Do you really expect them to barge through the front door? That's right, Walter. If you're going to leave, I'll be barricading the door on your way out. Won't be able to let you back in for anything. Right back at you. Are you all right?
the others. That starboard is right behind us. We have to risk it. We'll be dying with it. Sam? Come on, Sam. Talk to me. No. Not again. I can't bury another friend, Sam. I can't. Don't go. Dad! Dad, get up! Get up! Please? Go away! I told him you were coming. He just had to hold on a little longer. I hate you! Leave me alone! Oh, thank heavens. You're all right. I'll be okay now. Go on. Take care of the others. You're... Alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. Not many sights to see before I lost the lights. Saw the ship dock with the eye. We took up the arms call, but when the doors opened, there was no one there. Skulked in like a damn specter. Before I had to know, it was nothing but pain's wings and a cold sleep. Time's unknown, but I came too long enough to hear him gloat about going to the lodge and seeing our friends trying to crawl away from him on a bloody trail. Can't be sure yet. Starborn could have done a lot more damage. Guessing the glitter of the prize wasn't here. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Out of nowhere. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. Vladimir! Oh, thank goodness. Where's Sam? He's gone. <laughs> we... Uh, 
We need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. Got the right of it. The hunter, he, um... He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here. Keep the artifacts safe. I guess... We'll meet back at the lodge after? Is mining on the schedule today? attack please remain there's been an incident please continue going about if you don't mind I need some time to think
a tape. I will be monitoring I need to be checking everyone's, everyone's vitals. vitals. For now really isn't the time. Trouble. You forget how much you take a place like the Lodge for granted. Until it's threatened. I want you to know I was very impressed with your work back on Neon. I'm beginning to wonder if there's anything you can't handle. I'd like to test that theory. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? Love the enthusiasm. I knew there was a reason I picked you to help with this project. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules de Gante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. I know. Look, we all feel like we've been kicked into the ground a million times. It's over, but I think I have something. I'm serious. Security is sweeping all areas hit by the recent attack. You're perfectly safe. Glad to see you're back in one piece.
Walter Stroud. And on behalf of Stroud Eklund, welcome. Hope you In have a good room, stay. State of the art Star Yard, we are creating revolutionary starships. All for new technologies, but your average consumer doesn't need that sort of maneuvering capability. And Mike is saying there are technical reasons your design won't work. Oh, this must be Walter's consultant friend. Please, come join us. We've been waiting for you. Hi there. Have you seen the specs on the Adonis? I'd rather be in the ship. Hello. Defend itself. I don't want to be a target. You must be Walter's colleague. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Well, I hope your enthusiasm counts for something. Anyway, let's get to it. We shall see. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Have at it. Okay, good. So, before we can do anything, we need to resolve the budget issue. We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? I was afraid you'd say that. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal, so before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. Well, I'm all ears because it's going to take a miracle to convince them. Walter's only one board member. It may not be enough to convince them all. This isn't getting us anywhere. I hadn't considered it that way. It gives us some wiggle room if we need to try some things, and if we come in way under budget, it'll look good. A smart leader knows when some ideas just aren't worth pursuing. Look, I know you're confident with this budget, but I know there's no way I can get it past the board, so if you want it, you're going to need to figure out how to get it done yourself. Wow, that's really generous of you. That should cover what we need. Okay, yeah, why not? Let's put everything we can into the design. With all that money, this thing better serve hot terror brew and have an infinite chunks dispenser with multiple flavors, including spicy and cheesy. For me specifically. Great. That's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real-world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Then again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Good. Just so long as you don't push us to make anything too nutty, I think your decisiveness will put us back on the right track. Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side.
truth, and we need it. The others believe we need to think big and innovate. Reality is, we just need to do what we do better than anyone else. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fires. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming, and no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. Wait, really? I was expecting we'd have to argue a bit more than that. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it'd save us all a lot of trouble in the end. Yeah, that's me, innit? Been here since the start of the company. Done engineering for going on 30 years total. Though I keep telling them, it's senior, not lead engineer. I've got no interest in being lead. Too much management. Not enough tactile work. <laughs> and yet here I am. Resigned to my fate on the R&D team. Nope. Not really. I like to think I don't have the ego for it. I've got nothing to prove, and I don't rightly care to make my mark on the industry. But all I want to do is build the best damn starships I can, and not get bogged down with all the excess particulars. But upper management loves the work I do, and they wouldn't let me say no to this. I guess they needed someone to keep everyone's heads out of the clouds, so here I am. Still, to go from literally nothing... I really didn't scare you off, huh? <laughs> Need something? I don't want to be a target. Oh, you really want to hear my ideas? I mean, I have an idea, but it's not that great. I'm not even a designer or anything. So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht, something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> you probably think that's stupid, right? Well, you listened to my idea more than the others did, so I'll take it as a good sign. Thanks. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm new, and I've never done anything like this before coming here. Marketing for ships, specifically, that is. There are so many things to think of for different demographics, like style, features, cost, and all that. And you also need to think about offensive and defensive capabilities, because space is dangerous and people need to feel like the ship they're buying is safe. Yeah, I've only been here for a few months. I did a little marketing for chunks before this, but it was really more of an internship. <laughs> Ships are like totally different than that. I applied for the job here on a whim because I thought it'd be fun. I never expected to be hired. <laughs> Catch you around. You know, I have designed spacecraft for over 10 years. So. You must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Never mind that. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. Ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort and peace of mind. High-end performance. Precision engineering. A spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. Hmm. I think I understand what you mean. It is not enough to say it's a high-end luxury ship. Who is flying this ship? Where do they go? What is their story? And why do they crave such attention? 
Oh, thank you. I will think on this and improve on my proposal. Two words. Conspicuous consumption. Are you familiar with this concept? Of course you do. I'm glad you understand. Imagine someone like Borealis stepping out of one of our shining luxury ships. Everyone would want to look that cool. Not only would I have the chance to work on a dream ship, but that kind of exposure is guaranteed to sell it. Because I am the lead designer on the project, it is literally my job to design it. It is frustrating because I keep getting pushback, and Jules has this idea that we will make a better product by designing it all together. Since everyone has equal say, it led us to a standstill. It was much easier before. Hmm. See you. This is going great! I'm actually kind of amazed we finalized the budget. That was relatively painless. Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess? I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded Free Stars. Wonderful! Thank you! I'm hoping when the time comes, I'll be able to convince the others that's what we should go with. It means I'm responsible for making sure our projects are carried through to completion. I'm not the one calling all the shots, per se, but I do need to ensure the people making those calls are empowered to do that within the limits the Executive set for us. It might surprise you to hear that no, I have not. This is actually the first project I've led for Stroud Eklund. I recently graduated with a master's degree in engineering management. I'm actually kind of surprised they hired me, but I was at the top of my class, so maybe they didn't want to lose me to some other star yard. Anyway, I'm grateful for the chance to do good work here. Ah, we'll talk later then. So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of... favor? Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but, um... <laughs> uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? I commend your honesty, but that does not set me at ease. Maybe we can still succeed if you listen to our advice. Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Well, you're not fun. My idea is a little less... conventional. I believe we should invest in making a dedicated exploration ship, marketed towards citizen scientists. Sure, we and other manufacturers have lines of exploration ships, but none built with the average consumer in mind. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. Yeah, that's what Jules said, too. But at least that gives me something to think about. Thanks. I'll refine the idea and propose it next time, I guess. Bye. We're all super glad you're here, right?
Hello. are nice, but compared to which Trident? <laughs>
Well, we're making progress now. The ship design is, uh, you know, it, it works in some ways. Um, in others, it's, you know, probably fine. But it might have a touch of feature creep. But it looks, you know, nice. So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? Hmm. I can't believe I didn't think of that. It's fair. Everyone goes around the table and makes a cut. That way no one feels like they're the only one being asked to compromise. This should drive us towards a more focused design. And since Walter asked you to take the lead on this, I don't have to be the villain here. So you're sure about this? Great! Let's get ready to disappoint everyone equally! Frank, please. Everybody, listen! Let's give this a chance, okay? <sighs> okay. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Okay, everyone. Our friend here remember, not me, has decided in order to move forward, we're going to go around the table and everyone is going to give up one major aspect of your design. It's the fairest way to do this and ultimately, I think it's going to make our collective design choices a lot easier. Who wants to start? <coughs> okay, fine. I'll go first. I'm willing to cut some of the included hard points. It'll mean less firepower, but the consumer can still add them afterwards, I suppose. Uh, you're looking at me, huh? I guess that means you want me to go. Oh, look, I'll be easy. You know I wasn't looking for anything fancy, but if I've got to make cuts, uh, we can reduce some of the cargo base. Uh, I guess we can cut some of the extra sensors and data collection equipment? As long as this thing can still make it to deep space and back with no problem, I'll be happy. Um, I'd be willing to give up some of the passenger space, maybe? Yeah, that should be okay. Frank? <sighs> okay, fine, you win. I'll cut out some of the luxury designs and features. All that gold trim was going to be tacky anyway. Well then, that wasn't so bad. I feel much more confident we can actually build this thing. This is going great! Just... fantastic! Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of... stuff... to it. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. You have a good day. Nice to see you.
constellation has suffered losses before. Although, <laughs> not Sorry. quite uh, so yeah. violently. I've been lost in thought for a bit. Good to hear. I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. Honestly, I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. Now I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the star yard. Thanks again.